This is intended to be one of the last YouTube trading videos that you will need to see. We're gonna be talking about arguably the most important aspect of your trading journey, risk reward. And in particular, your journey, the steps in each part of your journey, what you should be doing, what you should not be doing to accelerate your progress. If you're new to trading, you probably wonder how people can be profitable when they only win half the time. The only way that you can do that is by making your winning trades bigger than your losing trades. Here's the step-by-step -step process that I utilized to implement risk reward and be profitable. The first step is simply to understand risk reward. You'll hear about the risk reward ratios, one to two, one to three, one to four. Check out the link up top. I just made a video on how to understand the ratios and the basics of risk reward. That's the first thing that you can do to understand it. Other key parts of this are gonna to be to understand your stop loss, how to utilize that, understand how to utilize your take profit, how to use your broker, those are gonna be key. This is one of the most basic and easy steps in your risk reward journey. The second step gets a little more complicated where you have to learn a strategy and implement risk parameters to that strategy. When we're talking about strategies, you're looking at things like supply and demand. Maybe you've heard of ICT, breakout trading, trend trading. These are all strategies that you can apply. The problem with a strategy though, is that it doesn't give you all the parameters to be profitable. You may know that you have to take a trade with a trend as you're trend trading, but you don't know where you should necessarily stop out, where you should be taking profits. Strict risk parameters paired with the strategy is what makes a trading system. The system is what gives you rules to get in or to stay out of a trade. For me, this looks pretty simple with supply and demand. I focus only on supply and demand trades that have at least double my reward than my risk. So if I'm risking $1, I need to make at least two, and usually it's three or four with my strategy. A lot of people will get this wrong, and I did this as well when I was early in my trading career, where I would finish my trading day, wanna go and learn more about trading, search up YouTube strategies on trading, and then go and learn about 50 different strategies. The reality is you only need one of them. One of them that's tried and true. I've seen people that are profitable with all of these, but it's gonna take time to learn that strategy and then learn how to fit in strict risk parameters within that strategy. If you're at this step and you don't have a clear strategy yet, and if you don't understand risk parameters, I highly recommend sizing down to near nothing. Take one contract so you can at least feel the emotion of taking a trade, but there's no reason to put real size on because you don't have a true system that you know is repeatable where you can grow your account. So this takes time, but you'll know it when you have it. You'll see weeks of profitability, months of profitability and consistency. At that point, you finally have a system. At that point, you're finally managing your risk. The key here is you have to be able to lose. If you're blowing a week's worth of profit within a day or within a trade, you have an issue. This leads me to the third step, which is sticking to the plan and to that system. Once you know that the math makes sense, you know the setups that are gonna produce the right risk parameters for you, the key is to then stick to them. The most common mistake that I see here is moving your stop loss when you think you might just need a little extra breathing room, moving it three times, moving it four times, and then finally you have to stop out and your loss is massive. Respect your stop loss every single time. You have to remember that risk reward only works if your losers are a certain size and if your winners are a certain size. So you have to execute your plan and your system like a robot. You have to be a machine. Moving your stop loss will come originally, <clears throat> if you dig deep enough, moving your stop loss usually comes down to not wanting to be wrong or not wanting to lose. Trading's not about that, you can't have that mentality. At the same time, your losses have to be a certain size and the only way to make your profits a certain size are if you hold on to that trade long enough to see it to its official target. You may have a plan where your reward is three times your risk, but if you cut that position off early before it reaches three times your risk, you don't realize those gains. And in theory, your system is technically profitable, but your account won't realize those gains. So execution is a key part here. Sometimes your plan might not come up. Sometimes you might have to be more patient than you would like. There might be a day or days where your strategy just doesn't come into play. And you have to be strict enough with your rules to only follow your strategy. Remember, your risk reward plan was baked into your original strategy and if you expand beyond that, who knows what risk parameters you're applying to your system? Who knows what risk parameters you're applying to that trade? I have a video on how I applied my own system to this utilizing both an intraday bias and an A plus entry 
where I had a return of 1000% the amount of money that I spent. I'll also put the link to that above. It will take time to be able to do this in a really strict way. You have to be really honest with yourself. And if you don't stick to your plan, be honest with yourself about that and fix it. Recognize that if you're not following this plan, you're probably not gonna be profitable. The way that you'll learn that is ultimately through journaling, which we're gonna talk about here in this step. You need to be journaling your trades every single day analyzing the wins. Could you have potentially held longer? What should you be looking out for to hold that position longer? Or on the contrary, analyze those losses. Could you have maybe cut those losses earlier? If you're able to do that, expand your wins and minimize your losses, you will grow the risk reward and thus you'll expand your account faster. Another underrated one here is analyzing your position size versus your mental state. This whole step about expanding your wins and decreasing your losers, it really comes down to your mental state, how disciplined you can be. And sometimes to get to where you need to, you have to decrease your position size. I took a trade today where I was leveraged a little higher than I usually am, and I made an execution error where I cut the position faster than I would have normally. I've done this before, and if you've read The Mental Game of Trading, you know that when you have greater size, when it starts to mess with your mental, recognize that you only have so much mental capacity. And if you're uneasy, that uneasiness is gonna take part of that mental capacity that you might normally be utilizing to analyze the charts, understand your position, and execute accurately. Your mental in trading is really important. And to run at high performance, you have to be aware of these types of things. The last step is to sticky note this. What I mean by this is as you journal, you're gonna be finding key nuggets of information that are gonna help you in the future when you see something similar. The way to remember that, I highly recommend putting those key nuggets on a sticky note. You can do them electronically on the computer, you can do the physical kind as well, but that way when you go in to trade the following day, you'll see those key nuggets and it'll be reinforced again and again. Still do this today where I add little pieces to my rules, grow my trades and to decrease the size of my loser. If this was helpful at all for you, I would really appreciate a like, comment, subscribe as we're growing this channel to create free content to help you become profitable faster and independently. Thanks and we'll see you in the next video.